Hello, this is Carl's Mustang, and today we're going to be checking out Elite Bundle 11, which is 2.2 mil if you have the season pass. Now, if I cough a little bit, or if I could, I cough a little bit, or if my voice sounds weird, is because I'm just getting over COVID. I mean, we had, I had COVID about a week ago, but uh, I'm okay now, but. Of course, it comes with the G 2020 GTR Nismo, the Bugatti Chiron 300 Plus, and the Selena S1, which has I don't think has been in any game. So, at least there's two new cars. The Skyline's kind. Of, I'm, I wonder. I don't know, but I wonder if the Skyline's going to be kind of a copy and paste of what we already have. But we'll have to wait and see. Let's go ahead and buy the bundle, and I'll see you guys out on the track. The Bugatti Chiron Super Sport 300 Plus. This thing's badass. That 10 miles you see, I went on the highway here in, on uh, in Florida on here near the speed trap. Got the 310 miles per hour with only a tad bit of help from nitrous, but it's not even a nitro chemist as you can see. So still, that's in, that it held 310 too with no nitrous. So that's impressive. But, as you can see, it's fully upgraded, no pro settings, and we're going to be using the main Highlands. But, this car's a badass. Also, it has customization. It has customization. That's, what's make, that's what makes this thing even crazier. It handles well so far. It's the fastest car in a straight line on here besides a drag car. And it has customization. But as I said before, we're going to be using the main Highlands, and as usual, I'll go quiet, and I'll tell you my thoughts at the end of the run. One.
This thing's pretty fast. With no pro settings and no nitro chemist. It got 301 on main highlands. And its average speed was between 200 and uh, 260, 270 miles per hour. That's even fast for that track. Normally the average speed's like 240, 250. This thing was going fast, fast as hell around the track. I mean, that don't get me wrong, 240, 250 is fast, but just this thing was going faster, way faster than that, of course, around the track. And a 301, that is damn fast for Main Highlands, especially for a car with no pro settings and no nitro chemist. That's damn fast. So this thing with the right pro settings with the right pair nitro chemist, like a fully set up pair, you're probably looking at maybe the fastest car. I mean, it may even whip these these the Summit versions of the Bugattis, of the Bugatti Devos, Chirons, Veyrons. It may whip all their asses. This car is very impressive. Now, is it worth the price of the bundle? Yeah, because I can imagine this car is probably going to cost th probably two times more out of the bundle. So this is half the price of the bundle right here. This is just half the price of the bundle. We had not seen the Selena S1 yet or the GTR, which I'm going to get to. But this is just half the price of the bundle. This car would definitely be worth getting the bundle for if the other cars are good too. But also... If you're getting it in the future, it might be worth getting in the future, too, because this thing handles better than the other Bugattis, to be honest. This thing handles way better than the other Bugattis we already had in the game before this thing came along. So, this thing might be worth checking out even in the future after the Elite Bundle is over. So, this car would definitely be worth getting in the future, or it might be worth getting the Elite Bundle for after... All the air cars are checked out too, because I believe the S1, the Selene S1 is going to be a real good car too. But that's all I really have for today's video, and I'll see you guys later in the next video.